with the sequel trilogy coming to capital supremacy and instant action this month, to Jakku, Agent Kloss, and if all goes well, Takodana, I would like to address a potential issue I see with the heroes, because currently, uh, in the sequel era, we only have two heroes on each side, which are Rey and Finn for the light side, and Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma for the dark side, but uh, in the prequel era, we have Bosk, Grievous, Maul, and Dooku on the dark side, and for the light side, we have, um, sorry, Obi-Wan, Anakin, Yoda, and Chewbacca, so four on each side, but of course in the sequels, we only have two on each side. We are getting BB-8 and BB-9E later this month, which will bring the total number up to three. However, that's still one less than the prequel era, and if, when we eventually get OT, co-op instant action and sequel trilogy, we will actually have four villains and five heroes, which I don't know how that's going to work, we'll have to wait and see. But my potential solution, just to bump the sequel trilogy numbers up to four, at least until they add someone like Poe and Hux, or God forbid Rose Tico, to balance out the numbers, is to add one original trilogy hero to each map. For example, on Starkiller Base, we would add Han Solo, because Han Solo was obviously there during the sequel trilogy. And I know we don't have old skins, and they, the devs have said that they won't be coming anytime soon because they want to focus on villain skins. But once we eventually get those, if we eventually get those, it would be cool to run around with them. But, so, Han was obviously on Starkiller Base when they did the operation in, in Episode 7, and he died there. So, it would be kind of weird to not be able to use Han Solo on that map. And then, for Takodana, we add Chewbacca. Now, another potential solution to this problem that I've heard thrown around is to just add Chewbacca to all of these maps which would make sense, and then it would make him, Chewbacca be the link between all maps, you know, he'd be on all prequel maps, all original maps, and all sequel maps, which is a good idea, but I think this would give more variety to do it. So, add Chewbacca to Takodana, because, obviously, Chewbacca has been on Takodana, he was there in The Force Awakens, and so is Han Solo, but, you know, you can add Han to Starkiller, because he fits better there, because, you know, that's where he died. Then, moving on to Agent Kloss, we add Leia. Now, uh, Leia is obviously there in The Rise of Skywalker, you see that in the trailers, that's not a spoiler, but I guess, spoiler alert, if you want, haven't seen the movie already, if you haven't, don't, I don't like it personally, but she dies there. So. Obviously, if it's a resting place, it would be nice to, you know, be able to play her. Especially since you can actually find the bed she dies in on the map, which is a really nice detail. Thanks, Dice. And, I know, like, old Leia doesn't really do much fighting, but it would, it would still be cool to see. And then, moving on to Crate. Now, on Crate, we add Luke Skywalker. Now... Luke Skywalker obviously never actually went to crate. It, he was just a force projection, but it's a video game. We can take some liberties, and it's you know nice to get Luke in there. He's they you know the main character of the original trilogy after all. And obviously, the only planet Luke actually goes to in the sequel trilogy is Arc Two, but we don't have that in the game, so this is the next best thing. Now, this is the trickiest one of them, which was Jakku. Now, none of our main original trilogy characters actually go to Jakku. It's just Rey, Finn, and Poe who went there, and no one else. So, my solution is just to add Lando there, because Lando obviously didn't fit on any of the other maps, but he would be a nice fit here. And I guess the excuse you could use is he would have been a general in the uh, rebellion to restore the Galactic Republic. 
so he would have fought in the original Battle of Jakku. And I guess you could use that as the excuse to put him on there. But I think it's just, you know, get all five of them in there. And give Lando Jakku. And now you might be thinking, right at the end, what about the villains? They still only have three. Now the uh, simplest solution to this is to add Palpatine. I know. Palpatine would be a nightmare. <laughs> he already is a complete nightmare and here is just villains and galactic assault. He's just a terror on the enemy team. It's just it's just not even fun to be around him because it just just or to even play him because it makes the game too easy. But if they give him some slight nerfs, then yes, add him to the sequel trilogy Capital Supremacy as the counter for all the heroes we're adding here. And he can be on every map because he would have been around at the time. And the Sith Troopers are also on every sequel trilogy map, even though we only see them on Exegol, and even then only for like 5 seconds. So I don't think it's too much of a stretch to allow Palpatine on all the maps, you know. It's the same deal with Chewbacca being allowed on every prequel trilogy map, you know. He obviously was only on Kashyyyk for, again, about 15 seconds, I would say. So, yeah, that's how I would fix the... or fix the sequel trilogy's potential hero problem. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.